Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in the Karate series, in the previous video, part one, we have seen a very basic stuff like how to create a feature file, scenario, and then how to print some statements, print some variables, do some calculation or arithmetic operations here, and then how to generate one HTML file as well. So let's see what else we can do with respect to feature files. So let's say I want to play with the uh, JSON because tomorrow you want to automate APIs, you will be getting the response in the form of JSON object and you have to validate your JSON, you have to print your JSON, you have to fetch the values from the JSON and everything and then later on we will see that how can you assert and how can you write some matchers over there as well. So I'll do one thing today, a quick video I just want to uh, prepare on. Let's create a file that how to print a JSON, how to fetch the value from the JSON object. So let's see this is my uh, JSON dot feature file that I'm going to create and then uh, just remove everything from here and then I'm going to create a feature first of all. See that this keyword is important to write. So you have to write feature and let's say this is my uh, JSON feature uh, testing, something like this that I'm writing and then I'm going to create a scenario and then the scenario is uh, S capital and then this and then let's see I'm writing a scenario that uh, JSON uh, reader or uh, whatever let's see parser something like this anything that you can write and let's say I'm going to create a variable with the JSON object so simple write a star a def that you have to write and let's say this is my JSON object that I'm going to define which is equal to and in the next line what you do you write three times col uh, double quotes double quotes double quotes press enter and then double quotes double quotes and double quotes okay and within this you have to write your JSON object. For example, let's say I'm going to write a JSON object manually here and then you can pick any JSON object. Let's write a very simple one and this is what that I'm going to write. Uh, simple key and value pair format. So I'll write that, uh, let's see the name of a specific uh, employee. Let's see the employee name is a uh, Tom and then put a comma and then I'm writing, let's see the city. I'm writing, okay, let's see city is uh, Bangalore okay and then again put a comma and then i'm writing one age which is again let's see put a colon and then i'm writing age is a 25 like this and then let's see i'm going to create uh, one more object here like this I'll remove this and then let's see another employee name let's see peter and the peter is from la and then peter age is uh, 35 so here you can see that this is a JSON array that I have created. So whatever I have written in the square bracket, see this is square bracket started here and ended over here. So I have written this is square bracket mean this is kind of a JSON array that I have created like this. Okay. And now you just simple save it. And this is a zeroth element. And this is the first element that I have uh, created like this. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to print couple of statements here. So let's see what I want to extract the data from this. So first I'll do one thing. I just directly uh, print this entire JSON object. See, this is a variable that I have created and then you just try to print this entire uh, JSON object. So let's see how exactly it is printing it on the console. So I'll do one thing. I'll just right click on it and then let's run as cucumber my feature and uh, see the console output here. You can see this the entire JSON object is getting printed on the console name tom city age and everything and then it's giving the report also the past one zero failure and the complete html report you can copy and then you can just use it in your open it here and here you just click on it and then here you can see the print json object and the entire json object that we have written it's getting printed on the console as simple as that it's already pretty format it's getting printed on the console now let's say i want to extract uh, something from here so let's see I'll just write another statement here. I'll write a star print once again and uh, let me just maximize it. And let's see from this particular JSON object what exactly you want. From this JSON object is behaving like an array, right? A square bracket means a square bracket started to end it over here. So this is kind of array. This is called JSON array. And then every JSON array is having this is called a JSON object. And this is the first key and the value that I'm using it. So let's see in this particular array and array, we know that it's always index based. So I say, okay, fine, fine. This particular from JSON array, you go to the zeroth index. It means go to the first element over here, entire this. And then from this, what exactly you want to print? So let's say I just want to print the entire thing. 
okay like this and let's run it again and uh, run as cucumber feature and here you can see that what exactly it's printing so here now you can see it's printing only the name and tom city bangalore age 25 so this is printing from here to here only it means the zeroth element is getting printed out of this entire json array it means only this particular element is getting printed same thing you can cross check you just refresh this page and see the first zeroth object that we are printing from the array right but let's say i want to fetch that okay from you go to the zeroth element and pick name from here so i'll simple write dot notation and then put a name here same thing let's say i want to print something else now so now i'll say from the first element it means go to this is zeroth element and this from the first element you give me peter city and age together so i'll simple write go to the first element and then let's see i'll just try to concatenate with some uh you know or let's see just put write this one and then again this one and then i'll write this is a name you give me city and then you give me an age over here like this and then let's see it is really printing or if you really want to concatenate with some space that also you can do that so let's concatenate with the uh, some space just like we do it in java and let's run it again so run as cucumber feature and uh, here let's see see here peter la35 is getting printed here you can see that from this particular object peter la and 35 in the same line it's getting printed here perfect and then from the uh, zero dot name it means from zero dot name means tom should be printed here so you can see tom is getting printed here so you see the better report here you just simple refresh it and then see it over here the zero dot name is a uh, tom and then these three things peter la and 35 getting printed on the console perfect so this is what you can simple write and extract the data from the uh, json objects now let's do one thing let's create one more complex uh, json slightly complex so i'll do one thing i'm going to create uh, one more scenario and different uh, json so let's see just uh, json reader and i'll write a complex json reader or then i'm going to define simple write def and then again you are going to create one more json object here for example the json object which is equal to we can take any online example first of all it should be written within three um, double quotes like that and then you start writing your JSON object. So I'll do one thing. Let's find one complex JSON object. So I'll search for JSON uh, examples. Okay. And uh, let's see. I'll just pick it somewhere from here. JSON example. You can see this. And uh, let's pick any of them. Let's pick this one. This is a kind of JSON. You just copy this. And then you simple come here and then paste it here. So here you can see this entire JSON is written. And if you really want to write it, just put a, a new line here like this. And then again, I'm going to print this entire JSON object once again. So this is the JSON object will be printed for this particular scenario. Okay, so let's do that. So right click on it and run as a feature. And the feature is running and then zero test fail. Two test cases got passed. And here you can see, here you can see a menu id file and everything same thing will be reflected here as well you just refresh it and this is the second complex json reader scenario got created and then we are printing everything is on the console like this so this is a definition of a uh, json object and that is what we are printing it on the console complete value we are printing it right now here in this scenario we will see that in this particular json we have it's not a json array first of all this is a json object in this particular JSON object, we have number of child JSON objects, then one pop-up JSON object, then one menu item. This is this menu item is actually a JSON array, and this JSON array is again having having some JSON objects like in the form of key and value pair format. So how will I fetch the data now? So I'll do one thing now. I'll start fetching the data. See this carefully. Print from this particular JSON object. What exactly you want? So I want you give me the menu. It means you reach at the menu and then from the menu you give me the id so menu is that uh, id is directly available uh, with the menu directly l simple write id over here so it should print a file okay so let's run it and let's see okay so it's printing it over here but i'll directly check in the in the report which will give you better options see menu.id is file over here perfect so this is absolutely working fine 
what if I want to print up to menu only? So it will print from here to here only like this. So let's see, I just want to print from here to here only till menu. Don't give me the ID. ID will be printed in the next line. So let's run it again. So run as give a feature once again. And then yeah, it's done. And then you refresh this. And here you can see the menu means ID file and everything it will be given to you. So here you can see the menu uh, is getting started from here. ID and everything you are getting it here. Right. Now let's see I want to fetch from the menu. What do you do? You give me the value of only pop up so pop up means you give me start giving the value from here to here only. Right. So let's say I'm just passing the key as a pop up. And then you run it again. So when you pass the pop up. So you just refresh it once again. And let's see. Uh, sorry, let me just refresh it again. Okay, I think we haven't saved it. Let me just save it and then run it again. Okay, let's see and uh, refresh it again. And here you can see the pop up means uh, under pop up we have menu item and three menu items are available. Same thing you can see that under menu item, item number one, two and three. Value new on click, on click, on click. Here you can see uh, value new on click, open, open dock, close and close dock. Same thing is written over here like this. Right now, let's say I'll do one thing from the uh, pop up. What will you do? You go to the menu item. It means go to this menu item. So pop up dot menu item and menu item is what menu item is a JSON array. See this is a square bracket means JSON array. So this will be my zeroth element, first element and the second element. Right. So I'll do one thing that uh, you give me all the JSON array elements over here. So let's see what exactly it is printing. So I'll run it again and then uh, let's see. So this is done and then I'll refresh this page once again. So here the menu item is giving you three things over here. Zeroth element, first element and the second element. And let's see again from the menu item what exactly you want. So menu item is what a JSON array. So I'll put a square bracket and then let's see you give me the from the zeroth value. It means from the zeroth one. You give me value and on click. So I'll write that. Okay, fine. You give me dot value. And let's see in the next line, I'm printing it's on click as a key as well. So on click will give you create new doc like this. Okay. So let's run it and let's see. So this is working fine. And then you refresh the page once again. And here you can see the dot value is what see new and on click is create new doc here. So this is the key and then uh, this is the value that we are getting here. So here you can see that we are getting new and the create new doc here. So you can just pass the index and then you can use it over here like this. So later on, I'll tell you that how to write a, a loop also. We can have an each keyword that also you can do that. Okay. So this is like uh, simple. You can just iterate and then uh, uh, fetch the values from the JSON object, you can print the JSON object directly and then hierarchy by hierarchy from the JSON array from the JSON object inside the array, pass the index and get the value store in some variable and then use it for some other purpose, then print it, then use for assertions and everything. Those things we will be doing. That's why I'm covering these small, small things so that uh, you will not face any issues when we uh, get the JSON object from the API response and then we have to validate that as well. So that's a small thing that I want to cover. I hope it's clear. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much. I hope you are liking karate series. A lot of good things are coming guys. Please uh, cover all the topics one by one. Let me know if you have any issues. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.